Tsitsi Kario says her stepbrother believes women in Zimbabwe shouldn't own land. He wants her to leave the family plot, even though she built some of the houses here. He told the 63-year-old, a man provides for his wife, and if an African woman isn't married, that's her problem. He hurt me badly. I cry and cry every day. I never used to be this thin, but the stress is affecting me. A few months ago, he threw my property outside of the gate. I had to sleep on the road for 10 days until a neighbour helped me get back into my house. In rural areas, chiefs mediate disputes in traditional courts. Many women are in unregistered customary marriages. There's often no written proof she's legally married. Some relatives take advantage of that. I had one case some time ago where uh, the brother of... uh, uh, the deceased was persecuting uh, the deceased wife and uh, when it was brought before me I just realized that it was greediness nothing more nothing less and we managed to deal with it but mediation doesn't always work that's why chiefs want parliament to pass a law giving them power to act as marriage officers who can sign documents that will protect widows and their children chiefs in Zimbabwe have been marriage officers before independence. But when the laws were amended, we believe an oversight or a mistake was made and the chiefs were then excluded. As a result, the majority of marriages in this country are unregistered. The United Nations says before land reform, less than 5% of women had land registered in their name. Now it's estimated to be around 20%. Widows often lose land and property soon after the death of their husbands. The last census showed 14% of all Zimbabwean women are widows. Most are in unregistered marriages. Tsitsi Kario says her marital status, and because she's a woman, shouldn't prevent her from owning land. She's taken her case to the High Court. But she knows it could be months, maybe even years, before she gets an answer. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Makoni, Zimbabwe.